Welcome back to another tutorial of Ebroy. Now in advance. So this one should be a short tutorial. It's gonna be about eye texture. If you've been following well all of my videos all this time, you might have an idea where I'm going with this. If not, I'll say anyway. If you haven't subscribed, now's the time for doing that. Because you'll actually understand it way better. And you'll see it too on that trick. You know, you'll do it in time. In a way, let's move on. This one we're gonna be starting with the eye texture. If you actually haven't noticed this, this was from the past video. You know, where I made the hair. Hair, I mean, glasses. <laughs> It's kind of a rough sketch, but I'll fix it later. Anyway, moving on. Alright, so to change the eye color, my text is in the texture. I'm going to go through here. Then head all the way where it says irises. Right here. Should be that there. Once you do that, you just have to go to the default image. That way, you see everything over here. <laughs> and then use your trusty tool, mirror. I said on the first video, and I keep saying again, it's going to be your best part for this. It's been proven. I've seen a lot. And I definitely. And once you have it on the default image and you have it now paint, the next is simple. It's actually changing the eye color of your character or the eye design overall. Once you actually finish, it's going to appear over here as a layer. However, if you keep editing it from time to time, it actually behave like this. Like, there's nothing behind it. Like, it's actually a full image. So far, up to the version 11.3 of Vero. I don't know if that's going to happen in the future. You know, more changes or not, that's something else for the company. And I don't know when the next version is going to be available. They usually do it like monthly or every two months or so. I seen like them doing a type of pattern of that. Anyway. And we're going back to the texture side of it. So I'm going to make a different design. Texture ish. I put this side, and I'll just make it one sort of kind of simple. I'll just start over here on the lower side, and I'll finish on the upper side. And then it's going to be basically the same. Sorry, have it on my face. Always keep an eye on which tool do you have selected. It's going to be a mess if you don't. Once you do that, you start painting. And you immediately see over here what's actually going on. There's some people that, dare I say, don't like to use this feature. Some of them say because of the lack of intro. Lack of features and all. In a way, it's not going to make that much of a difference. It's basically doing it for 
sentiment of a, a deal image in software. That's where the rest of the magic happens. So, in a way, you can just keep and continue to run here. It's not actually a big problem if you actually go outside of the image texture or the default image. Let's later I'll show you a feature. No, sorry. A simple thing that you can actually do on you know, one fix things. Very simple. And that would be to erase it. It's that simple. But even more, it depends. Does it work? Yeah. It's, it does the trick. Now for people, I'm, I just want to make it simple. Yeah. Sorry. Right on the race. I just make it simple. Because that way, it'll be much more easier. You just have to make the pupils and you basically have it. That's pretty much about them. You don't have to be worrying about it if I overstep them or I'm repeating it and all. So it's just. Hmm. Makes better sense. Sure. It depends on your type of style. So if you have the color type of watches or design style, why not me? As long as you know the principle or the purpose, I'm okay with it. So this is basically it, at least from the pupil edition. That should be all from the tutorial. If you want to be like it, just tonight and like and well, subscribe. Now's the time. And I'll see you later.